Hey guys, this is Mark Rubin here from Infinity Ward, and I'm sure when the pathetic number of people put in their ghost discs after using it as a beer coaster for so long, you were surprised to find that there was a patch. I'm here to go over the details of this patch. We finally added a quote-unquote league play type feature without Treyarch's Terabad ranking system into the Clan D Clan playlist, which is getting about as much action as the old stripper over there with the weird birthmark. We shortened the countdown timer for the Clan D Clan playlist, but we did absolutely nothing about the extremely short 65 second timer in private matches for competitive you guys have enough time to make three roster changes before the match even starts since that's what you comp guys seem to be doing lately anyways and we heard from the schwant showdown about how awful the codcaster mode was so we made lots of improvements to it including adding the domination capture bar and kill notifications for the spectating player which are pretty much basic things however we still want you to do two separate rounds of domination and then add the scores together like you're at a bowling alley that's too cheap to install a computer scoring system and gotta do that shit with a pencil and paper. Seriously guys, get your math skills ready. While we're on the subject of adding in game modes that we left out from the start in order to give you gimmicky game modes like Cranked and Blitz, we're adding Gun Game back. That's right, the game type that we ripped out of the community playlist in Modern Warfare 3 that consisted of Gun Game, All or Nothing, and One in the Chamber Mosh Pit is back, but the other ones that were actually more popular popular will have to wait. We're also adding in hunted free for all since regular hunted game mode does so well. And sorry guys, headquarters, hardpoint, and demolition will not be returning so keep on dreaming like John Lennon. Oh, and we're also removing heavy duty. The only playlist that wasn't infested with snipers but you can now play are still broken as fuck custom games with the heavy duty game mode. Speaking of custom games, Schwantz would be very happy to know that we finally fixed the custom matches that we fucked up when adding new loadouts to Infected. Who knew that putting a quick hack into the game would fuck up other aspects of it? The regression test is real, folks. We finally got around to nerfing the IED in such a manner that won't make you break your coffee table. The blast radius is now taken into consideration when dealing damage. Infinity Ward? Using actual physics? You don't say. You could jump over ground IEDs or duck under ceiling IEDs if you could actually discern them from the random other beepity bops on the ground that are either just part of the map or just some random rubbish on the ground. But you're shit out of luck with IEDs placed on walls. Oh, and the ones in the ankle high water on flooded? Yeah, those are still okay with us. We also finally got around to updating the spawning system. We should have taken a page out of Seinfeld's book and realized that you can't spawn someone out of spite. Our revenge spawning system has been scaled back and we also didn't take Treyarch's quote unquote spawn influencers which were even worse than the revenge spawning system. Lots of improvements. We figured you guys would want to get right back into the action even though our maps are the size of Tara Banks's forehead. That's why we spawn people right next to each other but no. Apparently you fuckers want to play treadmill of duty we also made dead silence completely silent for the things that it had been in every other game like equipment and now sliding amplify continues to hear scaled down versions of movement against dead silence users so we're still putting amplify which is a camping perk and dead silence which is a rushing perk and an even playing field even though it's much harder to rush than it is to camp sorry wings of redemption keep on meandering people change your play style we actually wrote a blog post on changes to snipers but of course we we didn't do any of them. We were too afraid of getting death threats, just like David Vonderhaar when he nerfed the DSR. The only thing we actually did to the snipers was adjust the reload time, which has nothing to do with combating any quick scoping. even though we said there wasn't going to be in the game. We didn't actually change the game engine, so therefore quick scoping is still in the game. Oh, and we fixed a sniper animation issue that could break the view model, but did absolutely nothing about the riot shield, which has an unbelievably broken view model. We also scaled back some of the camo challenges because the people that don't want to actually work to get an achievement were complaining that they were too hard. Boo fucking who. But apparently you squeakers, I mean players, actually fork over money so we had to appease you somehow. Anyway, this glitch has gone on for way too fucking long already but there's a lot in this patch. We've been super de duper hard at work and I don't mean in that T. Martin type of super de duper kind of way. Just check out the link in the description for the full patch notes. We added awesome features that add absolutely nothing to this game like customization for players even though we're in a first person shooter in extinction mode, incorrect bot display in custom games, displaying a new icon when re-rolling operations, and the addition of a social feed. 
We added an Operation Progress bar on the match summary, but still can't figure out how to add past 99 in the kill or depth columns on the scoreboard. Also, a friendly reminder to those Xbox users that DLC is now available. Fork over your money for maps that are only somewhat AIDS, including a reskin of everyone's favorite Tube Fest. If you missed the trailer for it, I'll also put the link in the description. Hopefully this DLC will bring people back to our game. It's pathetic that we only had 450,000 across all platforms two months in the life cycle of this game. Save ghosts, people! This is like a fundraiser drive. I feel like going and manning a telephone line asking for donations. Oh, and I'm sure this huge patch won't break anything existing at all.